Well, staff at the BC Salmon Farmers Association are taking on a fashion challenge as they try to raise money for the BC Heart and Stroke Foundation. It is an exercise in reducing, reusing, and recycling. And for the next 30 days, they will wear only six pieces of clothing. A News reporter Gord Kerbis has that story. It started with a news article in the Globe and Mail and one reporter's challenge to go 30 days wearing only six articles of clothing. We all looked at each other and wondered if it was even possible and, and decided that it was something that we would all feel was a bit of a challenge and, and could all get excited about. So now four women and one man are trying to duplicate that fashion feat in this Campbell River office. Doesn't include shoes Doesn't or necklaces. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're thinking that accessories will help to make these outfits feel a little fresher by, you know, day 10, 11, and 12. Well, I didn't really understand the proposal, but... <clears throat> I'm uh, game for anything in the office, and as the only male here, I better partake. <laughs> Whomever survives the challenge will have $1,000 donated on their behalf to the Heart and Stroke Foundation. It's a very good cause. Heart and Stroke, um, you know, it's, it's one of the big killers and, and uh, one, of the, one of the reasons why salmon and eating salmon is so important because it reduces your risk of coronary heart disease by 30% if you eat salmon twice a week. And for Executive Director Mary Ellen Walling, a very personal reason. I had a stroke three years ago, uh, uh, an interparenchymal brain hemorrhage and, and recovered very... Uh, very successfully and so it's close to my heart and close to the hearts of the people that I work with. Now the challenge might not seem that difficult but in this office there were some special considerations. Here at the Salmon Farmers Association we have meetings with politicians and then we also have to be able to be out on a farm site out on the ocean in a boat so uh, collecting six pieces of clothing that could cover that whole range of activity was was tricky. For probably any male it would uh, be pants Shirts, <clears throat> and that would be it. For some reason, those working with fish in Campbell River enjoy unusual clothing quests. Here, employees of Marine Harvest are taking part in a tacky Christmas sweater contest. Now, these five apparel activists are hoping others will join them. We would love it if other people got involved. Um, for people who aren't quite willing to do the six pieces for the whole month, we are at the end of the month going to host a clothing swap and, and open house. The entrance fees for that event will also be donated to the Heart and Stroke Foundation. If people don't want to do the whole month of six pieces of clothing, we'd love it if they came out to that. And that's when you guys burn your six pieces. <laughs> they will be almost ready for burning by then, I am sure. <laughs> In Campbell River, Gord Curvis, A News.